What's up, everybody? Back with another episode of the Never Empty Bottle Cocktail Blog. I am not Batman. I always a bridesmaid, never a bride. I don't. Damn it. I don't even know if I want to do this now. All right, anyways, if there's three things you need to know about me, it's going to be I love making cocktails, terrified of clowns and snakes, um, and oh, if there was a clown dressed as a snake, that would. That'd be it. I would, I'd probably give up. Yikes. And three, I absolutely love Batman. I know you're asking why didn't you dress like Batman then for this. I only had a Robin costume. And I know you're probably asking, why do you even have a Robin costume? That's none of your business. Anyway, today I'm doing the final part, part three of my Halloween cocktails. And I thought you gotta dress up your cocktails. Everyone, they go out, they're dressed up in their costumes. So we're gonna do that for these cocktails today. We're gonna do our Batman and our Joker. So we're gonna do the good and the bad. Let's make these bad boys. I am so excited. We're gonna start making the first cocktail for the Clown Prince of Darkness, Batman's longtime nemesis, probably greatest character in all all of anything ever. Bold statement, come at me, anybody. Anyways, we're gonna make the joke. So first, fill it up with some ice. All right, next, uh, this calls for cherry. I'm going with berry because I can. And it's two ounces of berry vodka. I don't think I said that, I just said berry. Two ounces. Next, we are going with one ounce of Midori, and I'm sorry, I know in my last like six videos I've used Midori. I just got it like three days ago, so I don't even know how that's possible, but we're going one ounce of Midori. I will take a break from it after the Halloween cocktails. Oh God, a little spillage, no worries. And then half an ounce of just straight up Bacardi rum. How did Robin fight crime? Like, I call bullshit. Robin fought crime in this thing, especially I, I love Bart. Bart, if you're watching, I love you, man. You were the best Robin ever. And then we got three ounces of our sweet and sour mix. I'm curious how this is gonna taste. I've never had it before. I kinda assume it's gonna taste like a Midori sour. But we shall see. All right, there's that. Where's my cup? All right, here we go. Let's give it a nice hard shake. Ah! Bang! Oh, nope. Okay. All right. Probably didn't even need to shake that. That was mostly for you guys. All right, we have that bad boy ready. So now what we get to do is we get to dress up our cup a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead, simple syrup here on our plate. Get it nice and rimmed. And then we're gonna go ahead and dress it with the purple sugar. For those of you who don't know who the Joker is, and if you don't, what is your deal? He's all about the purple and green, baby. Oh yeah, that looks good. We are gonna fill this cup up with a bunch of ice. There we go. All right, let's strain it over the top. Let's see if we got that green color we're looking for. Of course we did. What am I thinking? That right there is a perfect Joker. Boom! Favorite character of all time. Now, we gotta do the man of the hour. We gotta do my boss, Batman. So this one, I gotta rim as well, actually. I just realized that. So we're going in a different shaker here. This one's gonna be a much different, whereas this one's gonna have a little fruity little bite to it. This one's gonna be very robust, very strong. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go just a little bit of ice. Not a lot, just a little bit of ice. We're going to go, this is homebrewed coffee. That's a lie, it's not homebrewed. I don't know why I lied to you guys, I'm sorry. I literally just took this out of the can. It's been sitting in the fridge. I didn't put ice in it because I don't like dilute my coffee. So four and a half ounces of a very Colombian robust coffee. Oops. I am not hitting my shaker or my jigger today, and I think it's because of this stupid mask. All right, 
That is that. And we go two ounces of bourbon. And again, I went with black aged, I believe. No, it's extra aged. It's black, extra aged bourbon. And we're going two ounces of that. Oh yeah, I can already tell this one's just gonna be way different. I'm gonna be up for a long time tonight. I have so much to drink. Here we go, let's give it a good shake. I could never fight crime, I don't think. I wish, I wish I could. Simple syrup, same as before. And then we're going yellow sanding sugar this time. So this cocktail did not call for yellow sanding sugar. I just thought, you know what? It's gonna look way better if I do. Big old ice cube. Right there. Where's my, where's my mixture? There we go. And we're just gonna pour this bad boy right over the top. Nice and dark. And then we're gonna put, it calls for maple syrup. I went with my own spin, I'm gonna do a little bit of honey instead. Cause bourbon and honey go very well together. And then I'll give that a little stir. Make this just a little bit darker. There we go. All right, and there we have our Batman and our Joker cocktails. These turned out pretty well. I'm curious to try them both. Oh yeah, definitely. I kind of taste like I'm taking like a coffee liqueur almost. It's really good, it's really strong. Uh, but that black coffee just overpowers it, but you get the sharpness of the of the bourbon, obviously. And then just a little bit of hint of honey. And I didn't, you know, I didn't put any sugar cream in it, but that little sugar on the top makes that coffee even that much better. Don't know what I'm doing with my hands here. Sorry about that. And then let's go ahead and try our Joker. Woo! Yeah. A little sweet, a little sour. Got that Midori, obviously, that melon liqueur. I like the berry vodka with it, though. That's nice. I can't taste too much of the rum, but that's a nice one. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I dress these bad boys up for you guys because I love to do this. Um, please subscribe, please like, let me know what you guys think. Tell me who your favorite superheroes are. I love it, I won't judge, I probably will, I'm just kidding. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time.